Well, hello everyone. The Ontario Garden here back with a bit of a different video. I've had quite a few comments of people asking me, what mods do you use? Well, let's get right into that. And these are going to be the mods that, um, that aren't the food mods. These are going to be other mods. So the pork is one that I'm currently doing, so we're not on that one at all. So basically, Kitchen Designer, I use Kitchen Designer when I want to create my own layout. I basically use the same layout when I do my automation tutorials. I'll have, you know, on the right-hand side will be a big kitchen, left-hand side will be the dining room. Um, and that's only used for making my templates when I do my automation videos or my guides. Otherwise, current playthroughs, as of the time of recording this video, I use all just in-game maps, which I do find I like it. I find making ones yourself, I don't know. I'm going to try it one of these days to do like a big automation run or something, but not quite there yet. So basically, the Kitchen Designer, it, it opens up a website. You have to go to this website here. You design your kitchen. You design what you want. You get the map string. Here it tells you exactly how to do all of these things, uh, how to use it. Use this gallery of kitchen designs already. And then, um, yeah, this is made by Andrian, on, Andrian, Andrian, Kitchen Designer. So I use this one mainly for when I'm doing my guides, not for my playthroughs. The next one is going to be Enhancement Mod. Now, some of these mods, there's a lot of things in them, but some of them I don't use anything. Enhancement Mod basically is your custom uh, menu item spawner which is f2 which i use that again for my guides most of these are for when i make my played up guides and my tutorials not for my actual gameplay this is gives you an f2 to spawn in things you can here you can change things you can override roll chances upgrade chances money rewards number of customers groups so you can really enhance them on really you can tailor your game exactly what you want they can have them going you can walk faster you can walk through walls during the game number of customers group size and pay like you can reset all these things i don't i don't touch any of this stuff only one i use is this one here when i'm doing my guides to spawn in items or if i'm doing like a fun kind of crazy automation run where i want to spawn in things but otherwise i don't use any of these but all of these can be set up in the uh in the main menu part of your mods in your plate up game next we have uh yeah so single player tested blah 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 so again this is made by uh who's this by willie Willie, I think. So this is a very popular one as well, Enhancement Mod. Again, this is only really used for my guides, nothing else. The next one is Train Smart Grabbers in Practice Mode. Now, this is one that I've used since it came out, which is February 13th. So that's, what, four months ago almost at this point when I recorded this. And what this does is you can only reset your grabbers in practice mode. It will, you will not be able to reset your smart grabbers during the game. So for me, I, I got this mod back when I had my one of my salad runs and and the the grabber kept resetting itself to sauce, even though I had it set as as chopped tomato and I got sick of it. So I actually stopped playing that run. I think that was the Salad Bowl Cafe. Maybe it's you guys. There's video on the channel when I told you I stopped playing it. But anyway, that's that's going to be from from this here. So it's a really good one. You can only set it in practice mode, which is amazing. So this one I do use all the time. Creative Mode Reborn, again, this is another one where I don't really touch this. This is your F1 um, spawner. So you hit F1, you can spawn in whatever you want. Again, I don't use this one really at all. I'm not sure why I still have it. Uh, this was one of the original sp um, spawning, like one of your original mods from Starflux. This was, I actually used this mod before it was actually on the workshop. Many, many, geez, eight months ago, ten months ago or something like that. I've used... A, 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 uh, a Bepin X model of this, not this exact one, but one that he made for that purpose. So this is a really good one here. Again, you can all you can do even more things here than what's in the main game as far as spawning things. But again, I don't use this one really at all anymore. It's just here. It doesn't it doesn't change anything by having it in the background. The next one is your kitchen library. Kitchen library is basically a a uh, library designed to make modding significantly easier. So this is one of the dependencies. Typically, it doesn't do anything. It's just a dependency, again, from Starflux. Uh, and then the other one here, as well as the appliance library, which is also, for, this is actually from Zechnix. Zechnix? Uh, again, this is a utility mod that lets you spawn in, uh, you hear, which adds several appliances that tend to be shared between mods. So this is another utility one. Uh, it doesn't do anything. It, it's just it's just one of those base things that you need to have when you do some of these other things. Uh, ingredient library is going to be is is similar to the same thing. Uh, this is from Nova. This basically is ingredient library intended for use in common dishes for modic capabilities. To so having things like bananas, having things like chocolate, having things like lemons, limes, bacon, all these things that aren't in the main game as of now. This is the you need to have this mod 
to get these things like butter and whatnot. You have to have this mod to get these uh, these images or these icons, I guess. And again, th these are required. Like Harmony and Kitchen Library, and Kitchen Ingredient Library, they all are pretty much required for everything. So you want to make sure you have always have these three. They just run in the background. All they do is provide library images and interaction like animations. That's all it does, basically. Your Planet Prep Ghost. Now, there is a different way to do Prep Ghost, and that could be through your... It could be through your enhancement mod, I think. But I always use the standalone play up prep goes. Um, it was updated January. So there's been updates since January. And this never breaks. I don't find it ever breaking. This is the one that I use. You basically hit escape. You go into your prep goes menu. And you can set it anywhere between, I think it's 1x speed or 1.5x all the way up to 10x speed or something ridiculous. Here, right here, it tells you that. Default 1.5, you can go up to... Uh, 10x, which is, you can't even play at 10x. It's just crazy funny. This is made by the Crow again. This is a mod that only needs Harmony as a dependency, and that's it. This is one I use all the time. The Smart Grabbers are bugged. This one isn't really used anymore. This is the same one as this kind of took. Where is it at? This one kind of took over this one a little bit. So I'm not going to really go into this one. This one's not really used. I just have it because it's not affecting anything. Okay, then we have starting mill selector. This is a really good one if you want to, instead of going into your tutorial, coming out, tutorial in-game, that question mark, and resetting your dishes, this allows you to reset it to whatever you want. If you have modded dishes, you can go right in here and select it. This is uh, accessible through the main menu. This is made by um, by Bargo Bottoms. A great, great mod. Again, this was made in December, updated on March 16th. So, like, when any mods come into the game, like modded mains, this will pick up on it, even though it hasn't been updated in three months. Uh, it works very, very well. It, it's just it's very easy. This is only, is only uh, the host needs the mod. This is a great one. You can see here, current subscribers, 17,000 people are liking this mod. This is a great mod as well. If you just don't want to mess around with choosing, you know, having random, you want to choose exactly what you want, and you go from there. Now, more upgrades. Actually, I'll do Harmony first. Harmony is, again, one of those background mods. This is from Starflux. You can see there's 82,000 subscribers to this because this is needed by basically every mod almost. So it doesn't cause problems. It just runs in the background. It just, yeah, alter functionality, da da da, runtime. This is just how it works. Uh, you're here comment it's over here see so it doesn't cause problem it's just a tool to patch existing code so this is something that you need typically for most mods but it doesn't it just runs in the background this is from starflux again you can see eighty two thousand people have subscribed to this because it's a needed mod and then the other one is more upgrades this is basically the last one that i use and i don't even use this to the full potential this is by um belcorin uh, again this one wasn't updated since february because there hasn't been any new appliances without other mods since february and this so this is a list here of what you can do right i'll just highlight it maybe it's easier for you guys to see the only ones i i do two of these mods two or two of these are turned on one is a danger hob to safety hob and versa vice versa when you when you upgrade to a safety hob you can upgrade again to a danger hob and the only other one i use of this is the combiner to portion or portion of combiner that's it i don't use the workstation to freezer basically it's just alternating what your base thing like here a counter would upgrade to a workstation or a freezer here you can you, you can if you get a workstation with a freezer research it the next day you get a freezer the table one is one i've never done i should do it um but i just never have the boots one i don't really care about rolling pin sharp knife scrubber i don't use any of these anyway so it doesn't matter to me the mops I don't use anything so the only ones i have turned on are the danger and safety hob one and the combiner portioner even the workstation freezer one isn't that big a deal because i typically try to get things automated so i don't really need this very much um but again this these are not game breaks because right now in the game things like bins things like sinks and, and things like mixers they all cycle so why shouldn't everything cycle which does to me makes a lot of sense so maybe I'll start turning on some more of these things at some point. But for now, we'll leave it alone. But this is a great one, though. I, I love this mod. This is one of my favorite mods, especially if you're using all seven options, I guess, of this. Anyway, you can tell how many people use it, 12,000 people. So that's basically it. Now, this has nothing to do with my food mods. The, the food mods, we can go back to, let's see, we'll go to dishes. There's a lot of food mods, and I'm not going to touch on most of these. Like, I'm not going to do much. Like, I played the American Breakfast mod. This is made by, um, it's Quack, right? Quack and Cheese made this. This is, a, this is an amazing, fun mod. If you've seen Omelets, my latest video, or my 
a couple series ago, my uh, the skillet video, the pancake house, short stack, waffles. This is all done by American Breakfast. Look at this. Pancakes, waffles, maple syrup, butter, bacon, chicken for waffles, omelets, quiche. Remember this run that I had? You have cereal. I've yet to do cereal. You have oatmeal, blueberries, cinnamon, scrambled eggs, hash browns, orange juice. So there's so many different things here. Uh, there's just a little known issue that you can cook anything in a waffle iron. Or put anything in a waffle iron. But like this is this is one of my favorite mods as far as dishes go. Uh, again, 15,000 subscribers. So you can tell that it's very, very popular. Uh, the only thing with, with food mods is you only want to subscribe to them if you want to have those cards show up in your game. Another good one that I've done. I haven't done a lot of these. Uh, Mini Cafe. I've done this one a little bit, but not really because it's a really difficult. I've automated a couple things. Like the donuts. That was a recent automation. The teas are a bit trickier. Uh, it's a great mod. It's just not one I'm into. Same thing with Soups Plus. This is another one by Quack and Cheese. Basically, it adds a variety of new soups to the game as starters. Chicken noodle, French onion, miso soup. Now, what I want a mod, unless it's out there, I want a mod that's a restaurant that you can that, that you get all food that you get all soup cards. Because right now I think there's four soup cards, four or five in main in the main game. Because you you have carrot, you have meat soup, you have tomato soup, you have pumpkin soup, and then you have um, what's the other one I'm thinking of? You have meat soup, you have carrot soup, you have tomato soup, you have pumpkin soup, and you have broccoli cheese. There's five in the game. This adds three more. That's eight soups total, unless I'm missing one. I love that restaurant where every three days you get a choice of another soup or a customer. Like it's just all soups. So if anybody out there who who is modding and watches this, make a mod where you can only have soup. That's all I want. <laughs> Uh, again, some of these ones like brownies, this is kind of obsolete at this point. Burrito Bandito, I did this one already. Uh, drinks, I did the drink up mod. It, it's okay. It's a little confusing. Well, not the best. Cake for dinner, I've automated this just as I've done the sushi, but I haven't done playthroughs of these yet. I will at some point. Then there are a lot of mods here like melt ice cream. So if you mess up your ice cream order, you can cook it and it goes away. I find that a bit cheaty personally. Uh, like I don't want to bend game mechanics. You can throw this away in the garbage and then start over. Uh, here's one. This is the one about beer. It's not talked about too much because the played up game is family friendly and beer typically is, you know, you're over 18 or over 19 or 21, depending on what country you live in. But anyway, we'll pick this one up. I think it's not that difficult going forward. Maybe you can automate it. Maybe not. Not sure. Some of these garlic bread pudding pies by Ms. Evil Canadian. These are kind of all old mods at this point. They're stuck into this one here, the modded kitchen from Ms. Evil Canadian, which is a great mod, by the way. Uh, this adds, look at all the food. Grilled cheese, chili, lasagna. I have to do some of these. I haven't played some of these in a long time. You have starters, more starters, more mains. And what I'd love with these mods is that when you when you choose this mod, you only get to choose these cards. But it doesn't necessarily work that way. Oh, one more mod that I do want to show is I want to show the card selector. Let's do card selector. Now, this where is it at here? Uh... Oh, I don't want, no, no, not, not in dishes. I want it in, in, in everything here. So there are a couple different mods that you use for cards. Some of them are old. Like some of these are older ones. These are the newer ones. You have new card every day. This is a mod where you basically get a new card every single day, not every three days as you typically would. This is just a mod by, by Knox. It's a good mod if you want an extra challenge. Like not many people use it because it is quite challenging. But it is, it is a nice, if you want to have a challenge. And then here, the card manager. This is by Ice Milo. Uh, this is a huge one. Look at this. 5,000 subscribers, 10,000 unique visitors. Basically, what this does, it allows you... I don't use this one. As you see, I'm not subscribed to it. You basically can go into this, and you can deselect and select the cards that you want to have in your run. Like, what I'd, I'd love to do this one time is pick a dish... Maybe one of the modded dishes, right? That'd be a way to do it, really. Pick one of the modded dishes, like the American Breakfast or the Ms. Evil Canadian Collection, whatever, and go in through here and get rid of every card that has nothing to do with the mod, right? So get me, obviously, this has Halloween things in here. Um, you basically, you get rid of all those. The only thing I would really get rid of would be the, 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 uh, the food cards, because that's what you want to eliminate. The customer cards are irrelevant. I mean, I might go in there and get rid of pesky, picky eaters or, or something like that. All you can eat in double helpings, I take that all the time now. So this is a very, very, very good mod, but you have to be careful because if you choose this mod and you activate it, and then you start a new run. I think it can affect that. So you got to be a little bit careful with that. But again, if you don't want to use a run where you're having modded in cards, just unsubscribe, verify your files, restart your game, and there you go. Then it won't be there. Like it's very, very easy to do mods. Uh, for instance, someone said, how do you do mods? Basically, you go into your workshop, you hit subscribe. 
it tells you what you need. So we're we're missing some dependencies here. So I'll have to go and get those those dependencies as well. But I'm just going to leave it for now, of course. So you all you got to do is you click on this, and it brings up what it is, and you hit subscribe to that, and there you go. It's subscribed, unsubscribed, unsubscribed. There you go. And that's basically how this works. It's very, very simple. Another very, very good mod. And there's a lot of other mods here. Let's just go back to the main menu. Let's just go to browse most popular sledgehammer. This mod here allows you to make windows wherever you want, which is kind of cool, by the way. Uh, kind of cheaty again for me. Give it back. This is a teleport mod. Asian desserts. This is a brand new mod that I haven't even played with yet. This this is from uh, Riza egg tarts and Portuguese egg tarts. It's just starting. I'm sure there's gonna be more things added to this as well. I'll have to pick this one up as well. It'd be kind of fun to do. Here you have jacuzzi table, seed scanner. I mean, what does this actually do? So this, uh, this is from Milo again. Uh, doesn't currently work with card manager. So here there are issues with some of these. Shows expected card selections for days when seed affects everything is, oh. So when you create a game and you go into it, it'll tell you what cards you're gonna get. Oh, we can't actually see that. Look at that, that's so interesting. So based on the seed, this is it's gonna tell you here what you get. Huh, well, what the two choices are. Actually, I think this, do you actually select it? Yeah, okay, it just tells you what what's expected. That's kind of interesting. This is a very kind of cheaty mod, but it does work if you're interested in stuff like that. Hair, cos a lot of cosmetic stuff, music ones. Milo has done a lot of mods. Is pretty good, very good modder, I should say. Costume mods, speed run info. Get over here. I'm not sure what that does. Moves your robo buffer. The Karen mod. This is the fun mod. These are ones I haven't done, but they seem fun to me. This one is basically by by Shove Shovelware. Quite popular, you know. So a Karen mod adds a Karen and Mega Karen customer type. Karens have a chance of visiting your store after selecting the Karen card. Okay, after you select the card, of course. It's going to be this one here. And then Karens can be identified by their hairstyles. Seated Karens will lose patience whenever other groups are served before them. Mega Karens have a chance of visiting your store after selecting the homeowners, okay? HOA call, which is super funny. Mega Karens can be identified by their hairstyles. Sunglasses. Seated Karens will lose patience, other groups. And then here, Mega Karens also pay less, make more mess, and change their orders up to two times. <laughs> so this is funny because, like, the term Karen is, in the, is, like, a thing right now, especially in the Western world in America here. It's, like, in America and Canada, it's, like, oh, you're, if, if a woman... Uh, even a, a man, I think, might be called a Ken or something. But, like, if you're a woman and it's, like, you're very difficult, you go into a store to complain about everything and it's, like, you're causing a scene, people call you a Karen. Or they say, oh, I'm going to call the cops on you. Give me my free dinner. You're a Karen. So this is a very fun mod. Uh, I haven't played it yet. It's just kind of fun. Uh, Noblis just gets rid of knobs. Talk knobs for your 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 appliance things. Uh, Easter events. So this is you brings back the Easter event. So there's, there's tons and tons of mods. Some are in other languages. I don't know what actually this one is because it's not in this part isn't in English. Mini Cafe is another really good mod. This is by Nova as well. This is a very good mod. I already talked about this one, by the way. Uh, Cat Disco. So there's a lot of different things. More Appliance Plus, Appliance Chest. So there's some that if you really, really, really want to alter your game and make it like zoned in for what you want, there's tons of mod to do that with you know spawning things here's an appliance chest you can store eight appliances in it compared to a blueprint cabinet that stores one you know you can really go into it uh change your preferences choose what cards you want you can like set up the the, the perfect run for yourself if you choose to but anyway we're going to go back to the home page of this I know it's been a bit of a lengthy video, but I figured I want to cover everything that I use and some of the fun ones. Some of the ones I don't agree with, the game-breaking ones I don't agree with, but that's me because I like playing, you know, Vanilla Plus, Quality of Life Plus. But there is a time, there is a place for some of these, and some people love doing these, and especially if you're doing it with groups. And there is one where you can, like, fling food across your table or something. It's a lot of fun, guys. So head on over to the Steam Workshop. All you got to do is when you see something you like, you hit subscribe, verify your game files, and there you go. If you don't know how to verify your game files, basically you um, you right click and you go into properties and you go to local files and you hit verify integrity. And it'll tell you if there is a problem. It says zero files uh, validated because I actually have the game running in the background. That's why you can hear the audio. That's why there's nothing validating. Um, that's why. So anyway, it doesn't really change anything. But there you go, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving me a like as well as a comment. Much appreciated. What is your favorite mod? Leave me a comment with one of your favorite mods or two if you want. Maybe a favorite dish mod. And then the second one might be like your favorite 
quality of life mod or something, leave it in the description below. That'd be great. If you're enjoying the channel, please consider please consider subscribing and hitting that bell notification icon. Also, follow me on my second channel, the Ontario Gardener second channel, which is in the description below, where I have everything with about my life that's not related to gaming, farming, postal digging, honeybee swarming, all kinds of fun things like that, guys. I'll see you over there, and I'll catch you next time.